Periodontal disease and dental chews are big business in the pet food industry. And making sure your dog has clean teeth is definitely a priority and something you should be looking into on a regular basis. So we are going to look at the best natural chews you can give your dog and the reasons, the underlying reasons why tartar builds up and the further causes for periodontal disease and some of the things you should never do for your dog's dental health. Straight off the bat, my favorite chews for dogs are one, they have to be natural and two, they have to be hard. The first one is going to be the antler. You can buy antlers, you can buy full antlers, or you can buy split antlers. And it doesn't really matter which animal the antler comes from, as long as the antler is natural. Your dog will use their canacial teeth, their back teeth, into it in order for it to grind on the antler. And that is how particles of tartar come undone, come unstuck and leave your dog's mouth. Anytime your dog has a good chomp on something, anytime your dog has to work with their mouth, that means your dog is getting their mouth clean. Antlers are a very good, very safe, wonderful chew you can provide your dog with on a regular basis. The second one is the Himalayan Yak. And this is again a 100% natural chew and one of my favorites. You can buy these from your local pet shop, you can buy these from Amazon, you can buy these from anywhere. And again, they are 100% natural, they do clean teeth, and they are a wonderful chew to keep your dog entertained. Third one is going to be a buffalo horn or any other horn. Now the difference between the antler and the horn will be that the horn will have a hole in it and you can put different things inside the horn in order for your dog to be more engaged with the whole chew. Make sure you always put natural things inside such as peanut butter or maybe like a natural pate which is 100% meat and that will be very very beneficial to your dog. Another of my favorite chews are ostrich bones or any other big bone that you can buy that is natural uncooked and these are wonderful wonderful things for your dog's dental health. They tend to be big, they tend to be uncooked and they do not splinter Ostrich bones do not splinter and no bone you give your dog should splinter because if they do that will definitely have the risk to damaging your dog's gums and your dog's teeth and your dog's proneness to breaking a tooth or to having some sort of calamity and some sort of problem, vet bill, will be a lot higher. And last but not least, are natural chews. Natural chews coming from actual animals. We can get lamb braids, lamb skin, things like pig ears, things like venison legs, for example, pork rind, anything that's natural, that is hard, that has not been treated with any chemicals and it has just been dried and preserved properly is a wonderful treat for your dog. They will be 100% meat, they will be hard, so they will keep your dog entertained and they will be part of your dog's diet. You can buy these again from your local pet shop and you can buy these on Amazon. And by the way, I'm gonna leave a list of chews down below that you can purchase and those will be some of my favorites. So those will be available whenever you click down below in the description. Now, what is the difference between a good chew and a bad chew for your dog's dental health? When nobody really talks about this, but you see dogs do not secrete something called salivary amylase in their mouth, which means that they cannot break starches in the mouth. What does this mean? This means that whenever me and you eat a carrot, we start breaking it down in the mouth because we have salivary amylase. However, your dog does not have this enzyme. They do not have amylase. So anytime you feed them 
any starches whatsoever, your dog will not be able to break them down in the mouth and that will lead to periodontal disease. So we get a lot of people coming to our branches or asking questions about the best treats for dental health. Anything that contains any cereals, any wheat, any barley, any corn, any soy, any vegetables, anything that will turn into a starch is detrimental to your dog's dental health. Your dog can break down protein and bone in their mouth, but not carbohydrates. So anytime you feed your dog any amount of carbohydrates, that's going to be detrimental to your dog's dental health. And your dog's dental health is extremely important because they only have one set of teeth for life. So the more you can look after them and the more you can inform yourself about the best choose for your dog's dental health, the better. These will have to be provided, they are recommended every single week, every single day, or as much as you possibly can. Dogs have a desire, they have a need to chew, and they are very happy when they are chewing something. So by you providing them with something hard, natural, and potentially 100% meat, that will be absolutely wonderful for your dog's health and if you are thinking and if you are wondering what is the best diet for my dog you can watch this video next